College football gambling picks for week number eight. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can bet and watch any of these games at any of Tunica's six incredible sports books. Check them out. Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown Casino, Hollywood Casino, First Jackpot, and Fitz Casino. You can find more information on those over at tunicatravel.com. You can get these picks and a whole bunch more over at winningcureseverything.com. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you're listening on the podcast. Subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, whatever your favorite podcast app is, knock that thing out. Our football picks contest. Last week, Bruce C. from Hartsell, Alabama, he went 9-1. and one. Go sign up. You can be a winner, too. We got all kind of prizes. We got strong. we got night stays down in Tunica, two night stays, like packages, dinner reserv- like all kind of different stuff for Tunica, Mississippi. So go check that thing out. The football picks contest is over at winningcureseverything.com. It's right up in the top corner. Last week I went five and two against the spread. I finally got up off the mat. Chris went two and five, which Woo! was an improvement from the one and six week the week before. Been rough. But that's that's all right. Uh, I am 25-23-1. and one. I finally got back over 52%. Chris is 22-26-1. and one. He is at 45.8%. First time I've been under 50% in a while. Yeah, yeah. You are uh, you are correct. But that's all right. We're going to get it switched this week. I'm off the snide this week. Everything is rocking and rolling. All right, uh, I'm going to go first on this. You'll go first on the NFL picks. Okay. Game number one for me, Maryland at Iowa. I got Iowa at minus 12 when it opened up. It's Saturday, 11 a.m. on ESPN2. It's at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. Iowa is 7-2 and two against the spread in their last nine home games as a favorite. Maryland is 3-6 and six against the spread, their last nine as a road underdog. Iowa is 5-1 and one against the spread this year. They are rocking and rolling. Vegas has not caught up to them. The metrics have Iowa minus 14.6. So, I'm rolling with the Hawkeyes. All right. Let's do this, baby. All right. Good uh, luck the on the that. line right now, I believe, is down to 10. Wow. Which is crazy to me. Like, this Maryland team has not beaten anybody. Well, Texas. Texas in the first game of the year, which was an emotional game okay. because it was Jordan McNair and the, all this kind of mess. I'm with you. I got you. I'm telling you, Iowa minus 12 is the play here. All right. My first game, Purdue. West Lafayette, plus 14 and a half against Ohio State. At home, that place is going to be rocking. Jeff Brom is not just some schmuck you can come in and be over two touchdown favorite against and beat them up. Ohio not State right has given up a bunch of points. They're scoring a lot. That's fine. Purdue's going to score too. I think this game's going to be close. I, I'm i going to get a little greedy. I'm going to have some money line action on Purdue because – the price is going to be pretty high. Oh, it's going to be way up there. If it way hits, it's there. good. I mean, it's a long shot, but but yeah, the, it wouldn't the spread it wouldn't is, surprise is the me. Play, yeah, it would not surprise me for Purdue to take this W. But I mean, you toss a few bucks on the money line, it ends up hitting that few bucks turns into a whole yeah, lot that, of bucks. That so could pay for the day. You got that right. Game number two for me: Miami of Ohio at Army. Army minus nine is the play here. Saturday, eleven a.m. CBS Sports Network in West Point, New York. Oddsmakers have not caught up to Army this year. They're 4-0-1 against the spread their last five games. The metrics have Army by 16 here. The line has moved down. They've got Army minus 7.5 as of right now. I don't understand it. None of it makes sense. I'm going to keep rolling with the cadets, man, because Army is lighting people up. Do you see how bad they beat San Jose State yeah, last they, week? they beat them up pretty good. Ooh, boy, and I, I got Army minus 13 last week. You kidding me? Give me a break. 52-3? to three? That don't sound like 13 points. It's going to be a bloodbath right here. So you betting on Army? Army minus nine. I'm betting on Navy. I got Navy plus 12 like and a half at home against Houston. Now, this is not the normal Navy team that's really good, plays these big boy teams tough, but I think they're going to keep this game close. They play well at home. Houston has not blown out anybody. Houston no. was supposed to have this all-world defense. They're not. They're not well, really and, that and, and they were supposed to have, to have a great the, offense, the right? high-powered offense. They really hadn't scored a lot on anybody. Give me the home team plus twelve and a half. Are you crazy? And, and not to mention the fact that Navy will keep the ball away from their What's offense. It? Like Kendall the Riles way, will the score. The way Navy like like plays is, is they just low scoring, 
we have the ball for 12 minutes and you have the ball for five, and that's just how we do things. And that's what Army does as well. That's right. Like they, 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 but, yeah, they have to play the game but, differently than everybody else. But they are playing all these teams that do not know how to stop that offense. Right. <laughs> like uh, Jeff Munkin is other world. All right, game number three for me. You know, I like going with these big boys. Eastern Michigan, minus four and a half at Ball State. Saturday, 2 p.m. It's on ESPN+. Plus. Go get your subscription. And ESPN, by the way, you need to hit us up because I've been giving out these ESPN Plus games. You can only get them with a subscription. Like, hook your boy up. Let me sell some ads for you. Let's go. Uh, Schumann Stadium in Muncie, Indiana. The last three seasons, Eastern Michigan is 8-0 and in October road games. Whoo, boy. Eastern Michigan, 14-3 and against the spread on the road since 2016. Ball State is 2-8 and against the spread in their last 10 as a home underdog. The metrics have Eastern Michigan by 7 here. And I'm only giving up 4.5. Give me Eastern Michigan. Let's do this. That's the team to beat Purdue earlier, by the way. Washington at home against Colorado. Both these teams coming off a loss. One team is a really well-coached team. The other one just hadn't played nobody yet. Washington's minus 15 and a half. I think they got one of the top four or five best coaches in all of college football and Chris Peterson. He'll have those guys fired up, great week of practice, ready to go. They will kick Colorado's butt. I'm laying 15 and a half. It's a lot of points. It won't be close. It'll be three touchdowns. But if if LaVisca Chenault is injured, if the, it seemed like there was something wrong with Montez the other night. Did you notice that in the USC game? Yeah. Because uh, I stayed up late and watched that. I had I had Terrence Crawford's boxing match on one screen, and on the other screen I had the USC-Colorado game. And I noticed like he, he wasn't going deep very much. But uh, I don't know that he could against a, a team that actually has athletes. That's yeah. the difference. Is well, USC, Washington's got athletes. It's got athletes. Washington, way better than USC. Yeah. I mean, way better. I do agree with that. Game number four for me, NC State plus 17 at Clemson. I'd feel good about this up until about two touchdowns. Uh, the metrics have got Clemson minus 14. Uh, by the way, Saturday, 2.30 p.m. on ESPN Memorial Stadium in Clemson, South Carolina. They've got Clemson minus 14. That's that's what the line should be, round about there. So I'm, I'm getting three points here that I feel good with. Clemson is 7-11-1 against the spread in their last 19 as home favorites. They are 0-3 in 2018. NC State, 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 against Clemson, including the last two straight. So I'm rolling with NC State. I don't think people are giving them enough credit. They are a good football team. Ryan Finley is a hell of a quarterback. And Clemson has had trouble with teams that can throw the football. So... You know, Syracuse was able to pass on them. They were able to score on them. Uh, Texas A&M, same put thing. A Texas A&M put up ton of points. 430 yards on them. NC yep. State is going to be able to move the football. Now, I don't know that they'll be able to. Like, they, numbers say they should be able to stop the run. Clemson is a whole other team when they're running the football. Etienne is just other world. But I think NC State can keep this thing close. They can definitely keep it in 17. My number four pick, NC State plus 17 against Clemson. <laughs> For all the same reasons. All the same reasons. <laughs> Listen, Clemson hadn't beat anybody good yet badly. Okay? so They haven't beaten any good team by 17 points. Why do I think they'll beat this team by 17 points? You NC State me. NC State better than Boston College? Probably. Yeah. Comparable to them. NC well, State better well, they, than Syracuse? They beat Boston College. Yeah. So like, yeah. Comparable to them. These teams can hang with them. I think NC State's hanging with them. I think NC State's got a shot to win the game. But NC State almost won the game, what, two years ago? In in Clemson. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'll have a little money line taste on this one as well. I think NC State's got a better kicker now, too. <laughs> yeah, because he, <laughs> he had they had a decent kicker, they, they would have won game. the game. Yeah. Uh, game number five for me, the game day game. Oregon at Washington State. I got Washington State plus two. It is, uh, it is a pick them now. Still feel good about that. I think Washington State wins the game outright. Saturday at 6.30 p.m. on Fox, Martin Stadium in Pullman, Washington, in the Palouse. Washington State is 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six as home underdogs. Washington State is 8-1 and one against the spread in their last nine games, including 6-0 this year. Since 2016, Oregon is 3-11-1 after a win. They are 3-8-1 and one against the spread as a road team. There ain't a whole lot that you got to think about here. Go with the Cougs. Go with Mike Leach. Mike Leach is... My favorite coach to bet on. I bet on him every week. I love that pick. I'll have money on that. My next game, 
I'm going with our Memphis Tigers plus nine and a half against Missouri. I don't give a damn what the numbers say. I know Memphis has not looked good on the road. All those road games have been in big rainstorms. This team is an offensive juggernaut team that is all speed and all skill. They slow down badly in the rain. I don't think it's going to rain in Missouri. If it's not raining, it's pretty. It's going to be a track meet, and Memphis can hang with anybody in the country in a track meet. Anybody. And the, the Alabama hangover is real. Oh, no. Like, and Missouri got their rear That's ends right. toe up they, last they got They got beat up in Memphis. Memphis hung with one of the top four or five teams in the country. They gave them all they wanted, and as soon as the rain came down, do we, they do, stopped. Are they really a, a top four Shut or up. five team? You're you damn right <laughs> like they you're are. talking about UCF here. You're damn right they you're are. They're number 31 at Sagarin, man. Like, I don't hey, care. <laughs> I don't care. Nobody's beaten them in two years, Gary. All right, all right, all right. Play I mean, their ass. They have Play them. <laughs> Play their ass, Auburn, Gary. Auburn played them. You and they got what, beat. Yeah, you got sent home with an L. You see what happened there? Gus Malzahn going to lose his job after signing a $49 million contract. That's, you won't that's play him. That's because of UCF. You won't play him. No, I wouldn't play him. Damn right you wouldn't play him. That's them. stupid. That's, but that's but you're going to say they don't belong. That's, uh, Give me a next we, we ain't getting into that. <laughs> I got to fire it up. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, number six. Vanderbilt at Kentucky. I'm taking Kentucky minus 11 and a half. It may seem like a whole lot of points, but let me explain. Saturday is 6.30 p.m. on the SEC Network, Kroger Field in Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky's 2-0 and straight up and against the spread against Vanderbilt the last two matchups, including a 44-21 beatdown in Nashville last year. Vandy is 1-9-1 and against the spread against SEC teams since 2017. The one win, by the way, Tennessee last year. They are giving up an average of 280 rushing yards per game in those nine losses in one push. Now, they did hold Tennessee to 55 yards rushing last year, but I think Tennessee's a little different beast than uh, than this Kentucky team. Kentucky and Benny Snell are going to run all over this Vanderbilt team. Look, the Vandy team that showed up early against Florida, that is not the same team that's going to show up in Lexington. I'm telling you right now, Kentucky is going to hammer these guys. Kentucky minus 11 and a half should play. Game number six. I got Wake Forest plus ten and a half at Florida State. Oh, uh, you you took it. I do not believe in this Florida State team. I have faded them all season. I made a lot of money early. They've they, covered they've won they've three covered, straight. They've covered a couple of lines. Um they haven't covered three straight. Is that not right? Nope. I'm pretty sure they haven't. I haven't lost on them three straight weeks. I know that. They oh, well, they on. had a bye week. They had that's a bye. Why. Okay, that's so why. That's, okay. I was about to say, I know I haven't lost money on them three week week. Yeah. They had a bye week. Anyway, Wake Forest, they got an offense. Wake Forest, they can score. Florida State, they don't scare me. I'm going to continue to fade them okay. until it bites me. I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. Game number seven, the last game for me, and then we'll do a, uh, a rundown. We've had people ask for us to do a rundown. That's so, fine. So we can do that. Uh, game number seven, Fresno State minus 15 at New Mexico. Saturday, 7.30 p.m., ESPNU. It's at Dream Style Stadium in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, I understand it's on the road. Fresno State is 16-3-1 against the spread in their last 20 games. New Mexico is 3-7 against the spread in their last 10. The metrics have this Fresno State minus 18. I'm only having to give up 15 here. I'm all about it. it. The metrics always seem to match up with Fresno State, and they keep covering the number. Jeff Tedford has this thing rolling down there. they got a defense. I love the Bulldogs here. Fresno State minus 15. My last game. My LSU Tigers are going to get Peter caught on them because they're going to beat every dog they see like a drum. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to beat up dogs the way LSU has since Michael Vick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I said that. That's terrible. Mississippi State <laughs> coming down to Death Valley at night. First real SEC night game in a while since Ole Miss. And – and we're going, you we're saw what happened, We're going to send them home with a butt whipping. You got a one-dimensional Mississippi State team, one-dimensional, and, and their one strength is LSU's biggest strength on defense. Well, I don't know if that's their biggest because we got two corners that are going to play on Sundays. I know you're right. We got a you're linebacker right. that's going to play on Sundays, but he can cover. He can stop the run. That defensive front, Fitzgerald. They they remember what happened last year and oh, that yeah. butt whipping that that Mississippi State put on them. No sir, no sir. They are going to send the dogs back crying. All right, here's our recap. I got Iowa minus 12 at home against Maryland. 
Army minus nine at home against Miami of Ohio. Eastern Michigan minus four and a half against Ball State. Uh, NC State plus 17 on the road at Clemson. Washington State plus two at home against Oregon. Kentucky minus 11 and a half at home against Vanderbilt. Fresno State minus 15 on the road at New Mexico. You got Purdue plus 14 and a half at home against Ohio State. A little money on the money line. Navy plus 12 and a half at home against Houston. I'm going to put a little sprinkle on the money line. Washington minus 15 and a half at home against Colorado. Memphis plus nine and a half at Missouri. LSU minus six and a half at home against Mississippi State. NC State plus 17 at Clemson with a little money on the money line. And Wake Forest plus 10 and a half at Florida State. A little money on the money line. <laughs> you just, you tossing all the money I'm betting, lines. I'm betting all those dogs money line. I can understand it because somebody's going to hit and it's going to cover uh, all, all I need is one or two of them to hit. And yeah, you, and make, then, you and pay then you for good. the weekend. You got it. You got it. All right. We've given you everything you need to know to be a winner. So go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Put in your action at one of your favorite sports books. They got six of them down there. You can get all the information on that at tunicatravel.com. You can get these picks along with everything else you need over at winningcureseverything.com. Don't forget to go and enter the picks contest. You got your shot at some cool, cool prizes. So go check that thing out. Winningcureseverything.com. That is this week's college football gambling picks. I'm getting off the schneid.